Blessed be the god that sent you here. I'd have been eaten alive if it weren't for you. I don't think they'd eat you. But they would have certainly killed me. So thank you. My life-saving services aren't free. Of course. Pericles sent me. He was worried about you. You often get tied up and surrounded by snakes. How can you joke about this? Thugs broke into my home, dragged me here, tied me up and... Did you recognize the people who did this? Pericles asked me to go down to the fishing district and talk with the poor and sick, to give them hope. That's how I recognized their voices. Oh, yes? They threw rotten food and yelled insults at me. These thugs disguised their faces, but their voices and the stench of fish were unmistakable. Where should I look? I couldn't see their faces, but I recognized their voices from one of the districts I visited. They're regulars at Cleon's rallies. They live in the flooded part of the city, near the wall. Why would anyone do this? Politicians are easy targets in these troubled times. When they tied me up, they said I was a snake. That I should die by my own kind. I'll track them down, Metiochos. Don't worry. Tensions are high right now. At this rate, we'll tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls. Part of Athens, I doubt Pericles is proud to talk about. There has to be a clue around here somewhere. There has to be a clue around here somewhere. ones that were meant to kill Metiochos.
snake bites, and someone hid the body. Though I have a feeling this death was an accident. It looks like the thugs who attacked Meteohos weren't the masterminds behind this plot. This must be the house of Meteohos' attackers. But the letter proves they're just tools in someone else's plan. Whose? What the fuck are you doing sniffing around my house? You attacked Meteohos. I found the snakes, the letter from your friend, and a body. All here. Ah, oh, poor Actis. We all knew the risks. Chains don't happen without a bit of blood being spilled. Why kill Meteohos with snakes? We're prisoners in our own city. Because of Pericles and his crooked friends. The snake dealer told us it's time to send a message. Time they suffered. You can't take the law into your own hands. Now I need to decide what to do with you. Cleon says it's time we took the city back from the elite. Time to fight. Don't matter what you do to us. There will be others who follow our lead. I know someone gave you those snakes. They used you to do their dirty work. I want to know who. He's a real hero of Athens. No puppet of Pericles is going to stop him. Don't be someone's puppet. Tell me where the snake dealer is. All right, all right. He's got a camp just outside the walls. Sells his snakes from there. We're together. Maybe you're right. You didn't have to show us mercy. But where do we start? Start here. This district is your home. Ignore the politicians and concentrate on where you can make change. Thank you. We will try. I need to rid the things of this snake seller.
I'll end you with you. She can make trouble for someone else. You can't stop me! <laughs> Better stay hidden. Looks like your situation's improved since we last met. The danger has passed for now. But while those monsters are out there, no one is safe. A group of fishermen tied you up. They were being used by a snake dealer. They won't be bothering you again. I'm glad no blood was shed. But how do you know they won't return? I made it very clear that doing anything stupid would make me angry. Well, that must have been a terrifying experience for them. Thank you for your help, Mistios. I'll be sure to mention this to Pericles. 